Oh, oh my. my goodness. Come here, baby. You're not supposed to feed alligators an entire cheese pizza. Well, we did. It happened. What are you hiding? <gasps> There's a pizza. A pizza. I'd say I have a junk food gator. I mean, I've had Wally since Wally was little. And Wally can murder pizzas and sometimes occasionally give it to her as a treat. So let's see how she reacts. I have to carefully protect the pizza. I can't let Wally know that it's pizza pizza. So I can't even say it. I have Wally behind me. I've had Wally, I've raised her for about 27 years. And I love her dearly, and I'm gonna spoil her for a minute. Okay. Oh, can you, I can't even say pizza. Hey, dude, it's dude. I her. <gasps> okay, it's dude. She knows exactly what it is. Oh, oh my goodness. Come here, baby. You get that? Yeah, I got that. That's a good one. That's a good one. That was a. Yeah, she. Wally has now found her natural prey, which is pizza. But she loves this, and so this is a pretty good indication that they actually have taste buds that are recognizing probably the salt, the fat, and all that stuff, because she really loves pizza. This is not <laughs> the natural food of an alligator, but uh, spoiler, she's uh, wonderful and I love her, so she's... Josh, you're ruining the video! Sorry, guys, Oh no, my god. Good, thank you. You're fired. Get out of here. It's pizza time. Wally. Come here. Feels like she's trying to finish this one so she can eat more of yours. Wally, come here. Wally. I know, baby. Come here. Alright, so. <laughs> Down the hatch. So she's had couple pieces of pizza, like just like us, just a little bit of water, something like that. Makes life a little bit easier. Come here, sweetie. Pizza, pizza. No, don't leave. Don't well, yeah, she's just geeked up with your camera. Because they're vulnerable when they're eating. Why? You don't do this all the time, right? This happens, uh, this is the first time this year since last summer. So probably on average, she might eat one or two pizzas a year. Yeah, what do you usually feed her? Rodents, so it's rodents, poultry, and fish. And pizza's not even good for people. Let's, let's face reality. A ton of fat, casein, protein, salt up the yin yang and carbs and all that. So this is, this is not uh, for any nutritional basis. This is literally for her enjoyment. And this all started a long time ago. I've had it for her for about 27 years. So raising her up from a little alligator, over time, sometimes people would give uh, her like a piece of pizza and she now has fallen in love with pizza. Hey, sweetie. You want pizza? Pizza, pizza. Who's a doll? It's all wet now. Oh. He still loves it. Oop. Just soft, just the way she wants it. <laughs> okay. It's an entire cheese pizza. Yep, this is the last one. <laughs> Come here, baby. Wowie! Come on, sweetie. Oh, you're so full. Come here. Da 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 da. Oh. What a gentle giant. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. We're not the only ones that like pizza, right? So this is a breeder, albino snapping turtle. He was breeding one of his ladies. And when they were done breeding, his junk was still hanging out. And one of the other turtles thought that was food and attacked it. And it created a horrific injury. 
And this is nothing compared to what it looked like the other day, but I was really scared and freaked out. And when that's happening, you almost want to be private because you're dealing with a lot of like your, your worries and your emotions, you know, like an animal like this is so special and I love him dearly. And I, it hurts me when I see him going through any, any pain or anything. And he's thinking that I'm a jerk. We're pretty transparent about stuff here. I'm, I'm actually just, I show, this stuff happens guys. This is, there's nothing you can do except for this guy, you have to be with each individual female. And then this guy lives with a group of snapping turtles and they, they're very, very social, very, very happy. And uh, something bad happened and I, I was not even anticipating that. So this is the nature of animals, guys. It's always, you have thousands of animals and it's, it's I mean, this stuff is happening in, in nature too. And in zoos, I mean, oh, all these places yeah. that, you know, people think this stuff doesn't happen, it happens. And we're just a little bit Do more open. you know that for a long time, I was uh, always aware, I was told that a zoo will have a 5% livestock die off or loss every year, and that's normal. So 2.5 to 5% um, of all the animals, because you know, you're, you're, you're dealing with these animals, these animals are aging, you have animals that are interacting with each other, they hurt each other, you have some animals that just fail to thrive, uh, animals that might get sick, or whatever it is, there's all these different things. But let's be realistic, let's not live in an ideal world where like, we're gonna pretend this stuff doesn't happen. I can sit here and just show you healthy animals constantly. And I wanna learn. I want I wanna like I wanna learn. I wanna teach you guys from my mistakes and my failures or whatever, and maybe how I've also fixed something. I actually wanna show you the hot dog monitor. Yep. Yeah, we'll show you that it's been months and months later. We're gonna show you this animal had ridiculous metabolic bone disease. And it, it's everything was rubber and it was bigger water monitors, great. So I wanna go upstairs, we've been rehabbing that animal and I wanna actually get a, get a look at that animal and show you what's actually happened after a couple months. We're gonna be showing you guys that in our next video. And, uh, and, and Patreon, we love you so much Patreon, thank you for supporting us. Benjamin Sloan, Deleach, Jessica Muller, Natisha Carter, and Pick Prince. Thank you so much for being our top tiers, we love you guys. All right, so this is one I have no relationship with. First thing is you just kind of sit down and let them observe you and you don't make any quick moves. And that's another one that I am friendly with. This one's already got me pegged as a sucker. So he's moved slow and she is pretty uh, confident that I'm not a problem. You're just gonna stuff your face. And what happens when these guys have babies? She'll disappear for a little while. And she'll just tend her little babies. So this is her socked away food stash. And she's gone. Turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!